there's lots of things that I've uh, been afraid to do, and but did them anyway. I think uh, starting all the way back when I was a little girl, I was uh, I was about nine years old. I had a motorcycle, a Honda XR80, and uh, I was quite a little dirt bike rider. And there was this gigantic. And my parents used to take us out to the deserts in uh, Southern California. I used to rip up, uh, and they were proved they were proved deserts for this kind of thing. I don't want anyone to think I was being ecologically negligent, but uh, we would go uh, ripping up uh, these really big hills with lots of boulders, and and you get to the top and you have no idea where the top is going. But I would, I'd sit in front of that hill and I'd rev up my motorcycle. I'd have it in second gear, ready to just plow up that hill and I'd be I have no idea what's at the top of that but I can't wait to get there so um, th yeah I did it anyway and I'd get to the top and sometimes it'd be like oh is that it or sometimes I'd go so fast and I'd, I'd get airborne and I'd come back down the other side and tumble and, and crack up or I'd bleed I don't know which but um, it was fun I obviously it had it had okay consequences but um, you know, those were times when I was I was scared, but I did it anyway. Uh, but another time in my adult, more my adult life, is uh, when I was um, going to get my PhD. Uh, again, I didn't have a whole lot of confidence that I could do it, and part of that was my ignorance. I had no idea what it took to become a PhD, and what I fathomed it took to get a PhD. I didn't think I had. I was wrong about what it took to get a PhD, and I was wrong about myself that I did have what it took. And, um, but going through with it was, uh, was really scary. And with it uh, came lots of challenges that seemed to be almost insurmountable. But you know, it's just like when I was seven and revving up that bike and I'd, and I'd start off that hill and at the bottom of it, I'd be the most full of doubt I ever was. And as I got higher and higher and higher and I'd go over rocks or, or ruts and they'd, they'd make my bike shift over and my back wheel just keep bouncing. I just kept hanging on and, and, and giving it gas and keep going and I'd get to the top and uh, you know, I'd find out that I kind of liked it. And, it, and it, was, uh, it was tough and it got my heart racing, but boy was it worth it. So um, I, I would have to say those are two of the most uh, um, uh, memorable events where uh, you get scared about what you're about to do and then you just keep going. But every day I'm here working as an astronaut, uh, you know, I think there's some expectation that astronauts know everything and that uh, we can explain everything and that we, uh, we do everything right or that we should at least because of the big responsibility that we have and that we've been given uh, to um, launch into space and take care of a, a billion dollar vehicle that's um, supported by uh, our citizens of the United States and all around the world. But the truth is that we don't know everything and we don't have the answer to everything and we're students and I'm still learning. And uh, you know the humility that you have to approach your job when you become an adult is probably one of the most scariest things ever because it really opens you up and makes you vulnerable and it and it totally demolishes sometimes what um, people might uh, perceive you as. And you, you, you fear that they'll be disappointed that you're not everything they thought you were, that you really are just human. So if you think that uh, when you're young, that's when you're done facing big challenges and scary things, it's not the truth. You, I think your whole life you face those things, but is it, is it enough to make you sit still and not want to go on and, and achieve those things? Heck no. That's that's what that's good. that's what the good stuff is. That's that's where you learn about yourself and you become better. And uh, um, the world kind of opens up and uh, and you enjoy yourself and and it a lot better. So yeah, I think those are some of my scarier moments. <laughs>